Under aged with Rory Mercury and why did she betray Itami? Did the Dark Elf showed up out of nowhere and started to blue ball you know Rory and she should have lashed out at her, but she like just you know baited Itami instead and then the fucking elf like pointed a sword at Itami and then she's like not even realized that she drew the sword on the green people that she's trying to get to save her village and what is up with the elves and like getting just burnt down by dragons i guess it's because they live out in the boonies out there where the dragons might like anyways it's the same fire dragon that we already encountered in the beginning right so no doubt that we're gonna go there and save them but does this somehow relate to chuka's dead dad plot is this all gonna connect part of me part of me kind of wants that dead dad plot to kind of just like be pushed to season two so that i don't have to worry about it but it is what it is let's begin today's reaction more flashback. CGI Flame Dragon. Mmm, barbecue Dark Elves. Nice. Dark Elves. 220 dead. Please go get the help of the green people. And don't draw your sword on him first. Yes, the green people. She's the wisest? Really? Lost a fiance. Itami, I'm, I'm just saying, if they lost a fiance, like that, that opens up a slot, bro. I think the harm might be opening up. Okay. And the adamantite, very rare resource, right? That everyone on Earth wants. And she immediately fucking goes in and just draws her fucking sword against the most important green person that needs to help her. It's just kind of mind-boggling, huh? <laughs> you already fucked the mission up, but Itami's nice. Opening. No opening? No opening? Okay, what would Itami do? Green people! <laughs> Can they even speak the language? They don't understand this, right? <laughs> no habla español. Uh. <laughs> None of them know how to speak their language, even though they all speak Japanese. What did you expect? They're totally different people. Green! 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 Also, she didn't even know who Rory Mercury was, and that was very interesting, huh? Everyone knew Rory Mercury, other people, the boonies, right? People around the refugees, they were like, oh my god, it's the oracles. But it's like, the Dark Elf didn't even know. And we just saw the intro, right? That They said the council of the Dark Elves were like, you know, you, you you're the, one of the most wisest ones. So like, are the Dark Elves just fucking stupid as fuck? They just, she, is she supposed to be the most wise one? And they don't even know about this shit. And like, listen, like green. Maybe not knowing Rory Mercury because they're secluded make makes sense. But like, bro, green. Gr this is your wisest elf? They're fucked. They are fucked, dude. We're going to the emperor's capital, right? It's the empire, I think. What was that? Bro ran off holding his fucking crotch. Did she kick him in the nuts? And then boom. What the fuck happened there? Okay, he tried to pull a fast one on her. She basically took advantage of him. He's gonna start running off holding his crotch too, bro. <laughs> Is there a third person come on? Third person come out of the back alley. Oh, no shot! <laughs> Show me a good time, bro. Come on. You're gonna go running out to the fucking holding your crotch, too. <laughs> bald, bald. <laughs> That's a lot of money she got now, bro. Bro, 
Wow, not just any pen. This is one of those pens where it's like you have the green, the red, and the blue, and the black all in one. Yo, this is a super highly advanced pen. Right, because they sell like modern products here, right? Yeah. It's crazy because this is the equivalent of like a dollar store, huh? Like you go to a dollar store, there's like very simple convenient stuff, right? Tools, but like to them, it's like fucking magic. I bet because she says nya at the end, people are more willing to buy because, you know, the, the allure of the cat girl saying nya at the end. Relax, chill, chill. Yes, Neon. Yeah, Nihongo, the fucking language that you're fucking voice acting right now? Alright, there's a manual. I'll buy it. I kind of feel bad for her. I don't know. Loud and desperate, though. Green people! Hmm? The mugger? The mugger? Is it the people that, you know, she stole from te quote unquote? They deserve that shit. Not for the right reasons. No, for the wrong reasons. You don't know what's gonna happen. Oh no. Oh no. Probably not. <laughs> Lele. I am. What's she doing? Himoto! She can use hollow purple? Lele can use hollow purple? Hold the fuck up! Lele could beat jo Gojo Isatro easy, bro. <laughs> I alone am the honored one! <laughs> Wait, she's learning actual chemistry and this is helping her use magic better? It's interesting. She should read a textbook on physics too. She's gonna become like a fucking grand master at this rate with all this, you know, modern knowledge. Oh, for the dark elf. <laughs> She's locked in. <laughs> this is because she like kicked those dudes in the nuts that were trying to like, you know, sexually assault her and she took the money, right? And they probably lied to the green people saying, oh, this girl mugged us, right? Okay. I feel bad for her, man. She's like trying so hard and everything just like turns out bad for her. <laughs> the nut kick, dude, still. Alright, her name is cleared up. Cool, cool. Sent to Italico, as in like people like. It's like, this is Arnis. People are starting to develop more in Arnis, but we can, like, banish people if they, like, fuck around, okay? No, she, she needs the green people, though. Yo, that's the one that we fought during the refugee arc. Lele is like, nah, I'd fucking solo the dragon. Could you, can Lele do it? Could she just fucking use hollow purple now and just kill the dragon? Probably not, way too early. Yeah, she does. Imagine Lele solos the fire dragon while Itami's gone, visiting the empire. That would be hilarious. Rejected! He says no. 
ある。シュワルツの森は帝国との国境を越えて。Beyond the Empire. It would look bad if we just did that. Well, the people beyond the Empire, the Dark Elf people want us to come, but the Empire might be like, what are you fucking doing, right? So, like, that's the thing that we gotta be wary of. True, true. He's actually being very reasonable. Imagine a random girl shows up and says, Yo, can you just fucking kill a fire dragon for us beyond the borders? Like, the fuck? She did that thing again. Lele's lazy ass interpreter is basically someone says something and then she says, Duh. There it is. Damn, it's the words of our elders. Man, this girl is going through it, man. I feel bad. More depression than fucking Chuka. Yeah, the guy that you fucking drew your sword on. Who is Itami? Gee, I wonder who it is. I feel like because we dealt with the fire dragon before, like, it almost is like he'll have like ownership over it. Like, he'll, I don't know if he'll feel guilty, but it's like. We didn't let the fire dragon leave, but we did fight the fire dragon, right? And it kind of like, we should have finished it, but we didn't. So if other places are getting fucked because of that, I feel like Itami will take it upon himself to do it. Okay, this is near the Empire's capital, right? No CGI horse and carry, it's very impressive. Oh, it's the flower knights. Rose knights. Pina colada. Where's Boses, man? Where's Boses? Where's Boses? And what? What? BL package, Yaoi package. Femboy on femboy action. Bara. Furry. Don't worry about it. Art. It's art. Art. Hentai. It's not hentai. It's art. One centimeter is the fucking. You named your fucking BL fucking title one centimeter, bro? And then the other one's called best friends. Yeah, they're definitely best friends, all right, yeah. <laughs> they're translating this shit and sending it over, dude! <laughs> she seems pretty excited to translate, man. Wow, fancy tea and dessert. Mirfiru Grasse. Boses. Boses. Mm. <laughs> Cause like, think about it. Think about it like this, right? Think about it like this. Like, let's say you're in like a maid cafe or some kind of cafe. It's just a bunch of boys, and you have literal hentai fucking magazines on the table, right? You're with a group of boys, and you have a hentai magazines on the table, and then a maid shows up and says, "Can I take your order?" And the girl sees the fucking the tentacle, you know, hashtags, the fucking mind break hashtags, the fucking all the degenerate shit, and they see and they're like. They're all fucking degenerates, dude. Oh, that was funny. She is fucking out of it, huh? Her life is just like crashed. I feel so bad for her, man. She's actually going through it. Keep drinking. Drink more. No. Shoot the messenger, huh? It's real. Base reality. Lele is sometimes brutally cold. Look at that. No fucking hesitation. Damn, Lele. Please. 
Because you fucking pulled the sword on Itami. No. It's a border! It is like a funeral out there, man. No, it's the border. Girl's pretty smart. Secret part time job. What are they implying here? Secret part time job. She's doing like reconnaissance? Derida? This is. Th th this current maid work is not the part time job. This is her full time job, right? Are they implying that this girl has got something else going on behind the scenes? That's what's happening right now, right? Secret part-time job? What are you? Hold up? Wait, is she an actual spy? What's going on? What? Exactly. You fucking shitty politicians will gaslight us. Itami. What would Itami do? Episode title drop. Well, technically, it was all Roy Mercury. Lolly Mercury just straight up was like, Bakanaji! Like, you fucking stupid! Dum dum! Stupid! And then we won the Diet, right? Yes, Impact of the Three Girls, that's right. So they're gonna do it without Itami, really? Phantom and artillery. More missiles. That is a lot of steps, man. That's a lot. Lele just ditched her. <laughs> no, she didn't, but you know. You're gonna kidnap somebody? Seduction? Violence. Kidnap Lele. Oh, oh Rory. Oh, hello, hello. Ignored. <laughs> Chuka. Ah, What are you thinking, Yao? What are you... <laughs> Kidnap him. Steal. Steal Lele. There, there, there's more than just a fucking BL, Pina. Come on, get serious, Pina. We have one common goal, to get more BL. More Yaoi. <laughs> What if the emperor actually enjoys femboys and Pina will show the emperor, look at this art, look at this, look at this one centimeter, look at these femboys going out at each other and the emperor is like, Subarachi, Subarachi, and then we're going to be like, hey, you can have even more if you just make peace with Japan, they'd be like, I'm in. I I'm fucking in. Show him the magic of traps, bro. Oh my gosh. Show him fucking Totsuka from fucking Snafu, man. It's a fucking rap, bro. Dude, it's simple. We can solve war with the power of bussy. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, sure. That one instead. Yeah, sure. What's your secret message? Mm -hmm. Oh, they, they're just realizing who Itami is. Got it, got it, got it. He's a... He's an otaku. Power of otaku. Oh, this is the guy that loves the cat girls, right? He likes bird girls too. Yeah. We need her to have more lines, bro. And I still think Chuka and Kurokawa ship might be a thing. Are those Sakura blossoms? I don't know. No, it's like fanfare? I don't know. 
What did you just say? What what did Itami just say? Why would you ruin it, bro? You fucking jinxed it. It's not gonna happen, right? It's that like peace. If peace comes fast, then the show would end, right? The show would end. So like we can't have peace, you know? The emperor's gonna do shit, and then like it's gonna be impossible. So you jinxed it. I mean, it's obviously not gonna happen, but like, come on, you can't just say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Which brought war and disaster to the Empire was only half over. And that's the episode. And actually, I just realized this is episode 12, right? I know there's 24 episodes total. Technically, is this a two core series in one season? Or is it two separate seasons? I don't really know, but we're halfway done with Gate, man. Okay, so basically, there is some Fire Dragon Dark Elf plot going on behind the scenes that I'm not sure if Itami will be involved in because it sounds like we might just handle it ourselves. I'm not really sure. And there's also more hints that, you know, this girl, where's the, um, where's this girl? Yeah, this girl, man. She's got like a secret part-time job. Is she a fucking spy? Is she a double agent? I think that she is a good person. She's probably not evil, but it would be quite a twist if she was like a fucking agent of the emperor or some shit. Probably not, but I don't know. I don't know. And, 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 and basically more BL stuff. It's more BL stuff, man. I don't think... This meeting is gonna go well, right? This meeting with the Emperor, like, it's not gonna go well. I don't know what the Emperor is thinking because he already knows that this war cannot be won and he's already been just kind of like, quote unquote, self-sabotaging by getting rid of the people below him that could potentially do a revolt. What does the Emperor want? I don't know. He's a very interesting character to me. In the beginning, I thought he was fucking stupid. Basically, he did seem stupid, and then you saw exactly what was going on in his head throughout the end of the episode 2, and I was like, holy shit, this guy's fucking giga brain. So, it'll be very interesting to see what will happen as Itami meets the Emperor. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.